Okay, so hey, what's up you guys? Um, so this video starts off a little sad and it does eventually pick back up, but um, I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about kind of what's going on. I recently had my great grandfather die and um, he lives all the way up in Michigan. And so I have the cool key, you know, being able to see and get in contact with him. And there's still a lot of frustration going on with what to do because he didn't want a funeral and then the family wants a funeral and it's just like, eh. Um, but I'm sorry if this is a little bit down, but I think it's important to at least try and commemorate him and acknowledge him. And not to mention because he was a veteran, he's important to this country. He's important to all of us in a way. Um, even if, you know, you personally might not know him, um, or most likely don't, but while honoring someone from my family who is deceased, I hope in a way that's also honors the veterans who have died and who have served this country well, and even if they haven't died in battle, they've done us a great service, and I could not ask for more. So... I hope you enjoy the video. Try not to get too bummed out about it. And I will talk to you guys later. So yeah. Love you. Stay queer. Bye. Hey everyone. Um, I know it's a little early to get all emotional with you guys. But um, so it's Monday, Martin Luther King Day. And my great grandfather actually passed this morning. Um, he's been out in the hospital for... I mean, he's been in and out for like a couple of weeks, and um, he lives all the way up in Michigan. He's a wartime veteran. He was in the Vietnam War, and uh, yeah, he passed away this morning. He had difficulty with um, breathing, his heart pumping, and things like that, and um, my family's just kind of taking it hard. I, I didn't personally know him that well, as much as I wanted to. And I was hoping that this year I'd actually go up to Michigan and go to see him. Um, but it's starting to look like that's obviously not going to happen. But my heart goes out to my family and everyone who's out there who has lost someone that's close to them. Maybe their grandfather or something like that. Um, I've, even though my great-grandfather and I weren't really that close. Um, um, I mean, I only knew him whenever I was a child. And, of course, there was always that separation, that state separation. And so, but, um, last year I lost my brother. And so I kind of feel for my family. I feel the remorse and the pain and everything that they're going through. And I can only appreciate the life that he has lived and that he's fought for this country. And that he's just been such a great person and such a successful person in his life. He has lived a full great life. I can only hope that half as many people, you know, that just as much people could live a life like he did. And so, I love you, great grandpa. Gonna miss you. And I'm off to go see my grandmother and hopefully talk her, talk to her and whatnot. So, I will talk to you guys later. Maybe someday, if you find them, go scatter castle of your mind. Remember the times when we laughed, screaming together to the windy skies. And someday, my friend, if you... So I got these joggers, and I don't really know what to think about them just yet. They look kind of cute. Ah! So I dropped my phone. I can't really decide. It'd be easier if I could like put it farther away. But e, sexy bod. <laughs> okay, so I am at Sonic and I am starving. Like absolutely starving. So 
I'm going to get an Oreo cake shake. Spots? No, it's not a sponsor. Just letting you guys know. But I just wanted to let you guys know that I will be coming out with more videos soon. What? And so, um, those videos probably won't come out till after this weekend. Um, this weekend I'm going to go spend time with family and that'll be interesting. Actually, family who I haven't spoke to in like over a half a year. So, I'm nervous. Um, double chin action moment. But anyway, so, um, yeah, nervous, excited. Um, but I will also be coming out with a Draw My Life. Um, there's gonna be a lot of collabs going on, and so I hope you guys can just really enjoy it. And I love you guys. Bye. A few minutes later. So is it normal to be pissed off whenever Sonic doesn't have your food? Like, you don't have a large Oreo cake shake anymore with cake at the bottom? That shit was fucking awesome. And I have to compromise for an Oreo cheesecake shake? What the fuck is that shit? It probably doesn't even have cake at the bottom. Cake, man! Cake! I need my cake. So, yeah. We ran out. I asked. And apparently the icing cost them too much money. And it ran out in several days. So, I'm just gonna eat that. Eat this Oreo cheesecake. Maybe I could live without the other one. Okay, I'm sorry guys, but let me just go on a rant. By gender means by gender. I have girl moments. I have guy moments. Just by talking to me doesn't mean that you're immediately going to get the gist of if I'm trans or not. As a bi gender person, I act female at times. As a bi gender person, I act male at times. It frustrates me whenever people want to tell me if I am or am not trans. If I have known this for such a long fucking time, since I was six years old, I have known that I need to be in boy form, that I am a guy and not a female, but also can act as a female, but my body is incorrect. My body is not appropriate. If I look in the mirror, I think, this is a beautiful, beautiful girl, but I do not want boobs. I do not want a vagina, no matter how much people say that they look great on me. No matter how much I agree that they look great, but they do not look great on me. I am a man. Accept it. Sorry about that. Uh, yes, so much drama and so little time, so much going on all at the same time. So yeah, um, sorry for all the drama, if it was too much and all the stress, but rest in peace, Robert Joseph Engel, and I will greatly miss you. I really will. Um, just a little information on him. He was, of course, a veteran, but he even got to swim the beaches on D-Day and parachute out for planes. And he's been a part of Vietnam War, World War II, and I could not appreciate him more for all the services that he's done. But on that note, I'm going to leave you guys with this me in a panda hat. Oh, sexy legs. But yeah, um, so I'm about to go game, and I'm going to go game with these little paws. And I will see you guys later. And stay queer. Panda queer. Bye, you guys. Love you.